Well, I have sockets there. You have stainless steel stool. Have, that's that's the bed, steel rack. And that, that little slot there is the window inside. The My name is O.G. Latulo. I'm a former um, political prisoner who served 28 years in Trinity State Prison. I've served 20 out of the 28 years. I served 22 years in the management control unit for entertaining political thoughts that the ministers didn't approve of. Uh, August 29th. 206. No, August 26, 209, I was released by way of a court order from the Trinity State Prison Master Control Unit. Uh, the, the Boom Boom Room is, is a mental health unit of Trinity State Prison. So, so they help, I was placed in the Boom Boom Room for six days. They helped me enter the product for six days in the Boom Boom Room. They stripped me of all, all of my clothing, gave me paper sheets and paper washcloths. The cell was, was, had a pool of standing water in it. Dirty matches in the corner, and I stayed there for six days. And the purpose of them placing me in the boomer room was to try to you know, work on me psychologically. And finally, I got word off the bounty about my, my situation, and she contacted the DOC authorities, and they, they moved me to back to mass control. In order to survive protracted isolation, you have to have a, you have to know who you are. You have to have a strong sense of self. You have to be meant to something other than uh, something personal. So I had a pretty wide knowledge. I was ready to understand Arky. Because I understood why I was there, what I was going through. So that, that makes a difference. And that, and that came to terms with the prospects of death and captivity. So how, what made you into an anarchist? So? Well, because I became disillusioned with people in higher offices making, making decisions that govern my everyday life that I'm not having to say so about. I would do this to maintain my sanity. Right. I would create what I call political propaganda out of a collection of newspapers, magazines, etc. Uh, Chen State Prison. I created this collage, this political piece of propaganda, you know, just to show people on the street, but give, give people on the street a better idea of what the prison looked like.